Hello everyone, I am Nivedita Jena from Amrika Prasad Research Foundation. Welcome to all of you to our channel Biodiversity and Conservation. So today we are going to discuss about the tumor cells, its types, its function and its causes and treatments. So let's start. So the first one is the introduction. Um, Tumor is defined as a mass or lump of tissue that may resemble swelling and a mass of abnormal tissue that arises without obvious cause from pre-existing body cells, has no purposeful function and is characterized by a tendency to independent and uncontrolled growth. And uh, the neoplasm is the synonym of tumor. In clinical manifestation, uh, abnormal cells, which is the kind that uh, generally make up tumors, differ from normal cells in having undergone one or more of the following alterations. One is hypertrophy, increase of its growth, and increase in the size of individual cells. This feature is occasionally encountered in tumors, but occurs commonly in other conditions. Uh, like uh, hyperplasia, which is an increase in the number of cells within a given zone. In some instances, it may constitute the only criterion of tumor formation. Then coming to its types, so uh, tumors are groups of abnormal cells that form lumps or growths. They can start in any one of the trillions of cells in our bodies. Mm, tumors grow and behave differently depending on whether they are cancerous, uh, which is also malignant, and non-cancerous, which is benign or precancerous. So the first type is non-cancerous tumors or uh, which is also known as benign uh, tumors that are not cancerous are called non-cancerous tumors uh, which is which stay in one place and don't spread to other parts of the body it don't, don't usually come back after they are removed or uh, and uh, maybe move easily within the tissue however they can cause pain or other problems if they press against knobs or blood vessels or um, if they trigger the overproduction of hormones as in the endocrine system. All benign tumors tend to remain localized at the site of origin. Uh, so the question is why they remain localized? It tend to have a regular and smooth shape and have a covering called a capsule. Many benign tumors are enclosed by a capsule consisting of connective tissue derived from the structures immediately surrounding the tumor. And it is well encapsulated tumors are not anchored or resides to their surrounding tissues. These benign tumors enlarge by a um, gradual buildup, pushing aside the adjacent tissues without involving them intimately. And malignant tumors, by contrast, do not usually possess a capsule. They invade the surrounding tissues, making surgical removal more difficult or risky. And the pre malignant. In these tumors, the cells are not yet cancerous, but they have the potential to become malignant. Then the second one is cancerous tumor. Tumors are malignant. Uh, the cancer can start in any part of the body. When cancer cells form a lump or growth, it is called a cancerous tumor. A tumor is cancerous when it grows into nearby tissues and it has cells that can break away and travel through the blood or lymphatic system and spread to lymph nodes and distant parts of the body. The cancer that spreads from the first place it started, uh, which is called the primary tumor, to a new part of the body is called metastatic cancer. When cancer cells spread and develop into new tumors, the new tumors are called metastasis and um, the metastasis is thus the outstanding characteristics of malignancy. 
which is the tendency of tumor cells to be carried from their site of origin by way of the circulatory system and other channels which may eventually establish these cells in almost every tissue and organ of the body. So, in, in contrast, the cells of a benign tumor invariably remain in contact with each other in one solid mass centered on the site of origin because uh, of the physical continuity of benign tumor cells. They may be removed completely by surgery if the location is suitable. But the dissemination of malignant cells, each one individually possessing um, the ability to give rise to new tumors in new and distant sites, requires complete eradication by a single surgical procedure in all but the earliest period of growth. Mm. Then coming, then com then coming to uh, its examples. Um, so the benign uh, tumor, um, the examples uh, of benign tumor are um, lipoma and uh, adenoma. The lipoma are most common in people from 40 to 60 years old, and these are a form of sub tissue tumor and consist of fat cells. And most lipoma are small, painless, rubbery, soft to the touch, and movable. The location is they often appear on the back, soldiers, arms, buttocks, and the tops of the legs, and they are unlikely to become cancerous. Then, uh, in malignant tumor, the carcinoma are the tumors formed from epithelial cells which are present in the skin and the tissue that covers or lines the body's organs. And carcinomas can occur uh, in the stomach, prostate, pancreas, lung, liver, colon, or breast. They are a common type of malignant tumor. So coming to its causes and symptoms, in a healthy body, cells grow, divide, and replace each other in the body. As new cells form, the old ones die. When a person has cancer, one new cells form when the body does not need them. If there are too many new cells, a group of cells or tumor can develop. A tumor or neoplasm can be caused by an abnormal proliferation of tissues which can be caused by genetic mutations and a mutation occurs near or around tumor suppression and tumor protein that normally inhibits the growth of resulting in inability to stop uncontrolled cell division and uh, a cell becomes able to self-activate itself without its stimulation by its growth factor a proto-oncogen becomes mutated to an oncogen. Drinking too much alcohol and radiation exposure. And the common symptoms are include um, fever, fatigue, loss of appetite, night sweats, um, heavy weight loss, severe pain that interferes with sleep or daily activities, and the lump or mass anywhere on the body. Then coming to its diagnosis and treatment, uh, a person can sometimes see or feel a tumor, but others will only show up on imaging tests such as MRI. And however, this test can only detect whether a lump is present. A biopsy is necessary to determine the type of lump. The doctor will take a small sample of tissue and send it to a laboratory where technicians will examine it under a microscope. And the doctor may take the sample either in their office using a needle or during a surgical procedure to remove the tumor. They may decide that a person needs surgery first if they suspect that a tumor is malignant or if it is pressing on a nerve or causing other problems. Then mammography is the process of using low energy x-rays to examine the human breast for diagnosis and screening. And the treatment uh, include if a tumor is cancerous, uh, the options are um, following like uh, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, surgery, targeted cancer therapy, immunotherapy, 
and other treatment options. Thank you.